the the tier system as well uh, that was introduced at the end of 2020. And, and I believe that in hindsight, you think that the, there were some issues with this tier system, which seemed to punish particular geographical areas, didn't it? If, if you look at places like Bolton and, and, and Manchester, they remained locked down for so much longer than other parts of the country. That's right, Dan. I mean, I think there was a genuine attempt to try and avoid a national blanket approach to lockdown. You know, I think all of us agree that lockdown is a very blunt instrument. Let's face it. You know, it's indiscriminate. It involves millions of people. And there was a genuine attempt. And I think, you know, quite a, quite a well evidenced and researched attempt to try and regionalise the approach to deal with different incidences in different parts of the country. Now, that was entirely understandable. I think what it led to, sadly, was perhaps a lack of clarity and sometimes, frankly, downright confusion. You know, if you were having to travel due to your essential work between different tiers, it all became extremely complicated. And, you know, very tough decisions were having to be made by, by um, workers and others who were having to do this or people with family in different parts of the country. And I think that by the time we got to, do you remember that November lockdown, when, when we went back into full lockdown, I think the position had become very complex indeed. And that's why I think the approach that we took in very late 2020, early 21, to have a plan, a winter plan, with key stages for us to come progressively out of lockdown, was a mu offered a much clearer perspective, not just for families and, and individuals, but for business as well, in order for them to help plan what their futures were going to look like. And I think that met with a very um, uh, a warm um, support from the public. And of course, it was coupled then with the fast developing vaccination programme. So, so we moved out of that difficult period of tears into a much more uh, sustained approach, which uh, I think yielded great results in 2021.